Hello, in the previous video, we saw the hierarchic structure of the network. In this video, we are going to talk a little more about the details of each stage. In each stage, we have two main components. One is patch merging and the other one is called swing transformer block. Okay, let's start. Okay, now we have this function and uh, what we are going to do is to go and add the class for this stage module and uh, we are going to add that before this tra uh, swing transformer. So let me add that. Okay, now we have this stage module class. And if you remember from the swing transformer uh, class, this stage module is gonna be used for uh, four stages that we have. Okay, inside the stage module, let's look at the forward function. And uh, we know the X, the input to that is the input to the stage. So it could be input to the stage one, two, three, or four. And to have better understanding, we're gonna show the dimension of the tensors. So the first number here, which is one, is the batch size. And the second one is the number of channels. And for the stage one, uh, number of channels is three because we are using RGB uh, pictures. And then we know the image is 224 by 224. And for the second stage, the input to the second stage the number of channels is 96 and it's 56 by 56. For the third uh, stage, the number of channels for input is 192 and it's 28 by 28. And for the last stage, the input size is 384 for number of channels and it is 14 by 14. Okay, let's look at the figure three again. We can see the stage one, this is stage one, the input to that, the size of the input to that, is the size of the image. The input to the second stage is the output of the first stage, which is 56 by 56 by 96. The input to the third stage is the output of the second stage, which is 28 by 28 by 192. And the input to the last stage is the output of the third stage which is 14 by 14 by 384 this is exactly what we see here we showed that in this compact format and for the rest of this video we are going to use this format so the for the first stage is 3 224 224 or uh, the second stage 96 56 56 the third stage 192 or 28 by 28 and the last stage 384 14 by 14 okay okay we have the input to each stage the second thing that we do is that we are going to resize this input to the size that is gonna be input to our swing transformer block so we do that in this line and the output of that will be like this Okay, let's look at the figure three again. Okay, now let's consider uh, one of the uh, stages, for example, a stage two. So the input to that comes from a stage one and the size of that is 56 by 56 by 96. Okay, but before we want to put that inside the this string transformer block, we want to change the size of the tensor to create that hierarchic structure. So for doing that, we use this uh, block here so the function of that is just to change the size and create the hierarchy. So the output of the patch merging in a stage two uh, will be 28 by 28 by 192. So, so that is the 28 by 28 by 192. And also the output of the swing transformer block in the stage two is uh, this one. So. Uh, input and output of the swing transformer block is similar. So that's here, okay? Now uh, let's consider, for example, another uh, stage. So for example, the stage four, again, uh, the input to that uh, comes from the previous stage is 14 by 14 by 384. And now I put that inside the patch merging and the output of that is going to be 7 by 7 by 768. So the output of that is this value. 
which is similar to the output of the swing transformer block or the output of the stage four. Okay. And this is similar for the stage three, the input and output of the swing transformer block in the stage three are also same. Also for stage one, they're both for stage one are 56 by 56 by 96. Uh, the only difference is that for stage one in the paper, they used uh, two different blocks, one called patch partition and the other one linear embedding. But in the code, they uh, just try to uh, use a block similar to the stage two, three, and four, and just use the uh, one patch uh, merging block here, which its function is just to change the size of the uh, image. So we could have just one block here instead of these two that is uh, gonna be exact same as these uh, patch merging. Okay, so again, input and output of the swing transformer blocks are identical so in terms of the size so for example stage one is 56 by 56 by 96 for stage two is 28 28 192 and so on let's go back to the code now we can see after that patch partition for each one of the stages now we get those uh desired input output sizes that we need for each swing transformer block for example for the first stage we have 56 by 56 by 96 for the second stage we have 28 by 28 by 192 for the third stage is 14 by 14 by 384 and for the last stage is 7 by 7 by 768 okay so this line is just gonna change the size and create that hierarchic structure okay we will go over uh the function of that how it's done but for now uh we have that size change and then we are going to uh have our swing transformer block and we know that our swing transformer block has two sub blocks one is window msa and the other one is shifted window msa so the first uh block that we use here is called regular block and you can see the input and output uh, dimensions are similar and then we have shifted block okay and at the end we would end up having uh, this dimension which is uh, if you remember in the previous function that's the dimension that is going to be the output of the uh, stage four okay okay the other point about this function is that the number of layers uh, that we um, get as an input needs to be an even number if you remember in the architecture so in t uh, we have two two six two and uh, the reason is that we need two sub blocks in each swing transformer block for example for uh, when layers is uh, two uh, when we are in this for loop so you can see that's divided by two it's gonna be one so we are gonna go only one iteration in this for loop and we are gonna use one for window msa and the other one for shifted uh, window msa and you can see for example the term shifted for the first one is false it means that that's just a normal one and the other one shifted is true okay okay in this stage module uh, we need to create this swing block and which is our swing transformer block in the figure three and also we need to create this patch merging con which is our patch merging block in the figure three and if you look at the GitHub repo, we can see that this function just called patch merging, and they have a class for that that does the change of the size of the image uh, to create the hierarchic structure. Uh, we are going to use a different class here uh, that when we call that patch merging uh, conv, and that is gonna do the exact same thing, but uh, it's uh, simpler. And at the end of this video, we will come back and we try to go over what they did. But uh, right now we are just going to use a simpler approach to do the exact same thing. Okay. Okay. Let's start creating this patch merging conf class. Okay. Patch merging conf class is uh, now added. Okay. If you look at this class, we can see that the input to this class is basically the input to our stages. So as we saw, for example, for the uh, first stage is three, 224 by 224. And the output of that is the 
desired output that we have from each uh, patch merging, which is the input to each string transform block. For example, for stage one, that is uh, 56 by 56 by 96. Okay. And the function that we are going to use to do this uh, task for us is conf2d. And the most important part is that the kernel size and the stride need to be exact same amount and equal to down scaling factor. For example, for the first stage, so when down scaling factor is four, so our kernel size is four by four and the stride is also four. It means that the kernels would not uh, overlap with each other when they go forward. So it's like you get the four by four and then you jump to another location, you get four by four and then jump to the next one. So in that way, so we are able to change the size of the image to the desired size that we want. Okay. And um, we can use this patch merging conf here. As we said, there's a, another version explaining the code that we will go over that later. But for now, we have this uh, patch merging class. And uh, the only thing that we need to create now is this uh, swing block. Okay. Let's go for creating swing block. Okay, let's add the swing block class. Okay, if you look at the code, we can see in the forward function, we get the X as input and X gets first in attention block and then it gets to the uh, multi-layer perceptron block and then output of that will be the output of the swing block. And uh, inside this attention block, we have a residual and we have the layer norm and then we have the window attention. And also for the multi-layer perceptron block, we have residual, we have prenorm, and we have uh, feed forward. Okay, let's look at the figure three to get better understanding. So in figure three B, this one is gonna be our attention block, and this part is gonna be our MLP block, as it's called in the code. And each one of them has a residual connection and one layer norm. And for example, for the when input comes for the um, just the uh, window multi self attention, so we get the input, we have one residual connection, and also the input comes to layer norm, then it gets to uh, window MSA, and then it's going to be added here, and that's going to be the output. Then for the MLP block, so we have input. We have a residual connection here. We have a layer norm. We get to the multi-layer perceptron. And then we add it here. And that's going to be the output. And what we showed on the left is going to be the exact same for the right for shifted window. Okay. And we said that in the code, we define if we wanted to use a shifted or uh, not shifted. And we put them together. Okay. For example, for attention block. We have a residual, we have a layer norm, and we have the window attention. For MLP block, we have residual, we have layer norm, we have feed forward, which is our MLP. Okay? And if you look at also the dimension of um, the input and output, we can see that the dimensions uh, are exact same in terms of size for input and output for each block here. Okay?